Hi guys, my name is Amanda. My name is Emily. And today we are at the Fort Lauderdale International Boat Show 2019. And we're gonna walk around, take you guys with us and show you what the show has to offer. Welcome to our channel. You ready? I'm ready. I have my Making Waves cup. We have Take Me Fishing or from Take Me Fishing. I don't know if you guys remember last year at the Miami show, uh, we went with Take Me Fishing. Awesome company. We still work with them. We run charters with them. So today I'm making waves. Okay, so we're just walking the docks. I just want to point out to you guys something kind of funny. We have this like huge motor yacht with a fighting chair on the back. Look how cute. <laughs> I don't know if that's the right word, but I think you can catch some granders that way. So this is one of many boat makes that are at the convention center. This is the Invincible, and we're just walking around, checking them all out. We have rod holders, and what's cool about a lot of boats today, the newer models, have holes on the top, so you still get a lot of shade and places to put your rods. The nice about this boat that I like is that it's forward seating, but you can still fight a sail. Right. So this way you can run up on sails, and if you have family on the boat, you can sit. And what I want to show you what I would like is this back tackle center. Tackle it's like Plain old tackle boxes, which, which are, are our awesome. favorites. Our new favorite ones are the edge boxes, which would probably fit right in here perfectly. Drawers are always helpful. You can't go wrong with that. And I'm sure that all of this stuff could be customized if you want to fit your exact tackle needs. All right, should we check out some, some more boats? Moving. Let's keep moving. First off in the convention center is at Sea Shore Jewelry. And they make really, really awesome fish jewelry. Like, and they get super detailed. They make gold and silver. Really recommend them. A lot of fishermen wear them. So we're going to show you guys some of the coolest stuff that they have. All right. This is Dave and Maria. Hi, guys. <laughs> so they make this jewelry. They have all sorts of, like, necklaces. And we both really like the rope one, right? That's that one. And down here they have the gold, the gold um, wheel, which is super cute. And they even have like over in here they have a ballyhoo, you know, for your bait guys. You got a ballyhoo, and um, of course you got a sailfish, and up here a swordfish. Yeah, where? Let me see. Oh yeah, this is the wahoo. So they got some really cool jewelry, all sorts of stuff, a lot of silver at the show. So and everything that you guys see in silver, they can do in gold. They offer it online, they're just not having it here. But they do have a 10% off gold. If you order it here, you get it for 10% off. So I might come back later on, maybe Saturday, and come check it out and get myself something in gold. All right, so we're at Kepi's Creations. Let's see the sign up there in the center. This guy makes this really cool sculptures out of driftwood, mahogany wood, and some of them he paints, some of them aren't painted, and we are going to buy one, right? Yes, for our new apartment. Yes. We move in next week. We move in next week to our new apartment. We're going to buy ourselves an apartment warming gift. My personal favorite. Little ornaments. How personal cute is that? Those are really good gifts for Christmas for people that love Christmas ornaments. This fish here, those teeth. I was talking to Cappy's Creations, and the teeth are made out of what are they? Hogs, hogs, hogs teeth. teeth. Nice big blue marlin up there. So this is how for anyone that's interested that wants to buy 
one of Cappy's creations. This email here, um, ignore the R guys, that was a typo. It's Cappy's creations at hotmail.com. He kind of does things the old fashioned way, no Instagram or website, but email him or call him. We bought this little here, so ornament. Got this cute Christmas ornament, and we got a nice mahogany mahi. We're super excited. He's holding on to it. We'll show it to you when we grab it. The 32 CV. Amanda's down there taking a picture of the sign. Hi, say hi. <laughs> I think she's filming me. Hello. Got some behind the scenes filming going on over here on the 32 CV. Loaded with rod holders, my favorite. Got a coffin box. Those are nice because gravity drains them. Don't have to worry about pumping the water out after. All right. Ooh, my personal favorite. Nice bench seat. Squish lots of people up there. So many people you can squeeze in a bench. That's what I was All just people. saying. Four only Amanda size people. <laughs> Four people under 5'4. Three people if you're maybe five, six or taller. There's Amanda. Guess she's on her phone. Maybe she's on Instagram. Let's go say hi. Who are you talking to? Oh, I'm scrolling the gram. I was right. I said you were scrolling. <laughs> <laughs> I would have no complaints. No complaints? None. Zero. I would have zero complaints with a lot of these votes for my vote. <laughs> Don't get me wrong, we love our 32 Intrepid, but a whole walk around, that's my dream one day. So I'm here with Peter. With Peter. And we just found out a new fact, which is that if you were born in or after 1988, you have to have a safe voting license. So it doesn't really apply to us because we have our captain's licenses, but for those of you that do this recreationally, it's super important that you have this. There's a lot of people out there that aren't trained and they definitely should have their safety course done. So if you're local, you can go to Pompano, what is it? Here we oh, go. Here we go. PompanoSafeVoting.com. And if not local, it's USPS.org. Yes. What they're doing is really neat. It definitely needs to be enforced in my opinion because there's a lot of people out there that don't know what they're doing. And we can also double check the links for you guys and make sure the correct links pop up on the screen. So um, it's nice to meet you, Peter. Thank, Thank you, you for being a part of our YouTube video and helping us promote safe boating. Thank you. Our last boat that we want to show you guys is this 34 Yellowfin. We love Yellowfins. We've worked on them. We know people that have them. They're really, really nice boats. I love the flared hole. Yeah, the flared hole makes for a really nice dry ride. Let's see what we have. Bucket seats. Oh, but look, what's kind of cool. Oh, look. And a bench. And someone could sit here if they wanted. A bucket seat slash bench seat. That's probably pretty cool. Yeah. Anyways, yellow fins are very fishable boats. Gotta always have your nice live well. And something that I've been finding that I really like since being here are these cup holder rod holders, which I'm kind of thinking that that's going to be our next replacement. What? Yeah. Great charter boat. Oh, look. Plano. Uh, Tackle, Tackle center boxes. with some more Plano boxes. Plano is the best guy, the, be the, be the best business. <laughs> you know what I'm saying for tackle. What's under here? On some boats, yeah, see, this is a live well. Um, that's kind of cool. Extra live wells on yellow fins. I believe you could probably switch this out for a cooler too. But on our boat, we're going for the extra live well. Extra live well. Sure. Cup holders, always good. Extra, I like that you have two um, levels for rod storage. And if you go up, my favorite part is just how high the gunnels are. Keeps you dry, makes you feel safe, and if you're a really tall person, we're short so it doesn't matter so much, but if you're really tall, high gunnels, you're staying in the boat. <laughs> what else do you like about yellow fins? They're really comfortable rides, they ride really nice. And they're very spacious. I feel like they have a lot of room. I feel like they're really wide. Yeah. So. They're nice. I love them. Cool. That's the beautiful. It's the 34 Yellowfin. Thanks for watching, guys. We really hope you liked the video. We hope you liked all the boats that you guys got to see and some of the other booths that we stopped at. We are on our way home with our Cappy's Creations. Beautiful. It's mahogany, right? It's mahogany. 
and we're looking forward to hanging up into our new apartment which we'll be moving into next week so thanks for watching guys really appreciate it please like and subscribe for more Thank you.